It's like Frank's Red Hot. I put it on everything. Vlogging. Are we vloggers now? If we make a vlog video? video? Hello, Mom. Hi, Bradley. Anyway, before I was so rudely interrupted by my mother. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Shield Outdoors. This is vlog number two. All this was filmed in one day, but we split it up by two different goals. Goal one was trail camera prep. That was the last video. Goal two was get some rackology out there. That is this video. We put some stuff on the ground, mostly that vitamin concentrate and mineral because it's got all the goods your deer need. So we ended the last video showing that we had another trespasser and I'm getting sick and tired of these trespassers. It's really getting old. So yes, we went, we checked the SD stick. There was not a picture of the perpetrator, but you could see an arm reaching out, spinning that camera. I don't know if they were trying to get it loose or open it up and get the SD stick out. That is why we lock our stuff down. And I highly encourage anyone with trail cameras to lock them down. Let me start by reminding everybody that we are not pros. We're just out here trying to have fun and show you guys what we do on our property and share some knowledge. If you guys have any differences, send us a message or comment below we have no issues with that. Feedback is feedback, and we're willing to learn, hopefully as much as you are willing to learn. Enjoy. Of course, as always, like, comment, and subscribe. Let's get into the video. Oh my goodness. Look where we put the rackology. Oh my goodness, are you recording? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Dude! All we did was sprinkle a little bit of this juice in here, dude. Oh my goodness. What? Well, we gotta put some of that here, dude. We gotta just keep this one going. Look at this. Look at all the tracks. All right. Simple, simple stuff. We're gonna sprinkle this boy out. It's as simple as that. This is all I did, um, what, back in like, back in January, after deer season, I put a little bit of this out. I think I have some footage of it. If I do, I'll roll it right now. So, we put some of this stuff out and you can see how much they've dug it down. I mean, a solid six inches at least. So we're just gonna sprinkle that like so. This will kind of soak into the dirt. The deer will come, they'll love it, it'll be great. We're gonna take this and we're gonna go up to the top of that hill next. All right, Joey's back there changing the camera. Whew, I'm sweating. So we just put down some more concentrate. We actually put down some uh, Rackology long range attractant. It's got a little bit of corn. It's got some like sweet stuff in there. So this was a little mud hole. I poured the concentrate in there and then I mashed it all up. I mean, I literally just stomped all in it. And it might be interesting to see how quick the deer come to this compared to just dry product put on the ground. Cause it oftentimes on like the concentrate and minerals and salts, sometimes it does better after it washes in. So maybe mixing it with the mud will do something. I don't know. We'll see. Look at this, look at this beautiful lease. Goodness gracious, we are blessed. I'm kind of liking this vlog style, Joe. I get to have you in it more. Look at you. And all my stuff? Yeah, look at, <laughs> look at all your stuff. Now listen, I tried to carry some stuff, but it wasn't working out on the four-wheeler and I was, you know, we just weren't gonna make it. So Joey became the pack meal. Here's where I said I just stomped it in. There's a little bit of the long range attractant. I went ahead and I just dumped the concentrate mineral. I put that stuff everywhere. It's like Frank's Red Hot. I put it on everything. All right, we got ourselves up. Oh, oh, what? What's up, girl? How you doing? Look at me. I look good. All right, can you see me, Joe? Go. This is, uh, hold on. The long range attractant. Hold on, let me see if I can zoom in on myself. Oh, yeah. There I am. So up there on the hill, that's where we just were. And we came down, there's a camera on this tree. We put a little bit of um, attractant and vitamin and mineral out there. You guys wanna wonder why we have so many great pictures in the heat of the summer? And it's cause of this, man. Clear water, look at this. 
the deer need water. These fawns need water. The mamas need water to make that milk. But this is an excellent corner of our property. We're likely gonna do a Rackology food plot right there, right in the corner. We also can use any of this big grass path. The farmer's already planted, you can see, obviously. So, all right, dude, let's get this done. I'm tired of blogging. It's hot. Vlogging. Are we vloggers now? If we make a vlog video? video? Yeah, probably. All right, let's go. I'm hungry. Put this in my backpack. This is where I killed my spring turkey this year in Indiana. We're not gonna talk about what Joey did here. I see him. And uh, this is also where I made that video about um, about uh, turkey like making dust bowls and dusting spots and preening their feathers. That's that little spot right there. So I think we're gonna vlog all these random times we come out to our property, what we do to prep our property for deer season, just our own little take on it. Un momento. Hello, mom. Hi, Bradley. Okay. All right. Bye, mom. Anyway, before I was so rudely interrupted by my mother. So, we're gonna vlog our own little take on how we prepare our property. We're not experts. We're not biologists. We're not, you know. We're not a super popular pro hunter, Cameron Haynes. Yeah, we're just two guys trying to outdo our thing. Like I said, we got big news coming. We, um, we are not leasing a new property, but there's a new property involved. We're gonna leave it at that. So, we'll catch you guys next time. Make sure you're sub, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe. See you next time. <laughs>